I did my baking in Substance Painter. I selected a new project. Under File, I selected my low poly model. I changed the name of the material and then clicked Bake Mesh Maps. Now at the beginning I usually just bake the normal map without any anti-aliasing in order to check if everything is okay with the model. So I unchecked everything else except the normal map. I changed the match from always to by mesh name so that the right high poly mesh will be baked onto the right low poly mesh. Change the output size to 2K and pick the high poly from which I will bake the details to the low poly model and I click Bake. There were some minor issues. I had to change my max frontal distance and max rear distance in order to fix the artifacts. I only increased the value a bit apart from default 0.01. As everything seemed ok, I baked again the normal map but this time I put the anti-aliasing to subsampling 4x4 and I baked again. Then I baked everything else. In ID map I checked the color source from vertex color to material color because the high poly mesh has material on it. In curvature map I unchecked enable sims. I also checked in ambient occlusion self occlusion to only same mesh maps as the parrot will be animated and say for example his beak is going to be animated and the dark bark with his ambient occlusion map will not render correctly. And I baked everything again. I got this result. So normal map, this is the ID map. As you can see the colors are the same as they were on the high poly. Paris was ready for texturing. Now I only used for this particular project base color, so I didn't need rough or metallic maps. So in my viewport I only selected the base color. You could select it by clicking on the letter C or just by clicking here and changing it to base color. So after baking my base color was looking like this, so I didn't have any information. I started with just editing some basic coloring, so firstly I added color to the body of the parrot. Now there is a tool that I love to use called So Much Diffuse. So it's basically a collection of material generators for Substance Painter. I usually use this tool as a good starting point of texturing. So when you add this material you can essentially change the preset. Then after selecting the preset you can change the diffuse color then all sorts of stuff. Like change the shadow color, change the shadow spread, then in gradients you can change cavity and so on. You can also enable specular, change the angle of the light. Now for the purpose of this project I disabled the specular. I just added a light variation of colors yellow and red. Now I'm going to show you the use of ID maps. So say I added this material to the body of the parrot. Now the body of the parrot consists of wings and tails also, but I don't want for them to have the same material and color as the rest of the body. I simply apply a black mask onto the layer. Now no UVs have this layer. I click the mask with the right click and added mask with color selection. There I clicked pick color and selected only the part of the model which I wanted to have this material. And that's it. You can also play around with hardness and tolerance to get the better results. So I did this with pretty much every part of the body. I used mask with color selection and material so much diffused to get the basic colors. I got this result. Now this was just the base color. As I was not quite satisfied with the amount of details I got from the maps, I decided to export all of the maps and play with them a bit in Photoshop and 3D code. I could have done this also in Substance Painter, but as I was more, more familiar and comfortable with the painting tools in 3D code, I switched that program. As I said, I exported the maps. For me, the ones that were important were curvature map, ambient occlusion and the base color I got with using so much diffuse material. I opened the new project, imported the low poly. There under textures, import, I imported firstly the external curvature, then external AO and at the end color albedo map. 
Curvature map had a standard blend blending mode. I played around with the opacity and ended up leaving it at 60%. Then AO's blending mode was multiplied, while the blending mode for the base color was set to hard light. After that I just started painting a bit, editing colors where I thought it needed, always looking at the reference. In this case, how the species of the parrot looks like and which colors are its wings. I got a few layers like yellow white on the wings, then added some red color. I painted the eyes to have the cute look. At the end, I calculated occlusion in 3D code, cleaned it up a bit and reduced the opacity. When I was satisfied with the general look of the parrot, I exported the texture from 3D code and imported it again in Substance Painter. Now I imported this texture I got from 3D code as a base color. I created a new fill layer, added this texture to color material and changed its blending mode to color. I wanted to add some subtle shadows to the material. I duplicated this layer and changed its blending mode to pass through. Right click on the layer and I added a filter. I selected from the drop down menu Baked Lighting Stylized Filter. Now I changed the output to diffuse only and started playing with other values to get the result I like. I changed the color of the sun and then I reduced its intensity and changed the angles. I ended up with this result and thought it looked good enough. Barrett was done. So the process of baking for the backpack was the same as for the baking of the parrot. After baking I got these maps. I started texturing by adding the Substance Painter Smart Material called Leather Stylized. I changed the colors in the layers and played with the value in them. Then I reduced the opacity of this material. Under the Leather Stylized material I added so much diffuse layer. This layer will give the highlights to the backpack. So this was the backpack without this layer and this is with it. The highlights gave the backpack the leather feel. Next thing I did is just pick the top of the backpack and color it with fill layer. Then I added the gold parts of the backpack by again editing the so much diffuse material. I also used the baked ID map to just pick the specific parts of the mesh to be gold. So to the straps of the backpack, leather stylized material was added again, but I just decided to change the values of this material a bit. So I gave them a lighter brown color, again by using ID map I was able to pick parts of the backpack I wanted with this value of brown. And the process was the same for the pockets. Now in Substance Painter, uh, when you're looking only the base color, you can't see the opacity maps. I switched the mode to see the model with lighting in order to see the alpha. I needed just the base color as I did for the parrot, so I didn't play with the rough values of the model. In order to get the opacity, I created firstly a group and selected the part of the mesh with alphas, so I selected just the plane. Then, in that group, I created a fill layer, added mask with color selection, and picked the color of the part of the mesh which is going to be hidden, so this color. Then I put the opacity map to be black, have this value 0, so to be hidden. That part won't be seen. Then I created another fill layer. I also added mask with color selection, but this time selected the colors from the meshes that are going to be visible. I placed the opacity map to have the value 1, so to be white, so to be visible. At the very end, as I had some minor mistakes, I imported the texture in Photoshop clean the artifacts, play around with the situation and then end up with this model. That pretty much wraps this tutorial. I hope this was helpful and I taught you something new. Thank you for watching.